realizing India story. So recently, we um, we were given some districts to visit and to um, realize what is there on the ground. So um, for our group, it was Sehor, and we went there, and um, it was a nice experience. We went there for 15 days. So there were many instances that uh, struck my attention. And um, it was a kind of self-realization journey for me. It's 15 days made me to um, self-realize that what do the people in the villages have and what do I have and what is the difference between them and do the privileges that I have, does that make a difference in my life? And <coughs> does the lack of privileges they have because this is what I saw with my lens. Does that make a difference in their lives? So this is a story of a tribal uh, hostel that we visited. We were staying in uh, Bilkis Ganj, that is 15-20 uh, kilometers from Sibol. And uh, we were staying with the family so for a day and a half. So we, we kind of gelled up with the family and uh, it was a huge family. Uh, uncle, auntie and she had uh, three sons. So, um, the auntie said that let's go and uh, let's explore the village. So, uh, we went with the auntie and uh, we saw a tribal area around the lake and there were uh, fellows who were uh, taking a bath in the lake and there was a small boat which was stationary. And uh, around the lake there were uh, dilapidated huts kind of structures where the tribal community used to live. And we passed by that, we had a conversation, with, we had many conversations um, with, with the tribal people. And um, we passed that, we uh, came across a building, dilapidated building. And we, I asked that, what is this building? So I said that this is a tribal community uh, hostel for girls. So I was like, Hi, ah, I want to uh, see what is what what does a hostel of tribal uh, girls look like. So I entered the hostel and uh, the girls were doing something that they were not supposed to do. They were cleaning the grains, and um, as soon as we entered, they all got so surprised and they all got shocked that some people had come to check from uh, from a distance because it was very clear that we are not from Bilkisan. So. <coughs> They were surprised and shocked and they were scared that uh, who are these people, Are they, uh, have they come to check that the facilities that the girls get is fine or not. So we made sure we uh, calmed them that this is all, uh, we have just came to visit the place. And then uh, we had conversations with the girls and they were uh, reluctant to speak. Uh, but uh, then we asked them. Like what do you want to be and then uh, what what are your dreams and what are your aspirations so then they said that they want to be police and they want to be a teacher and they uh, start and we I said that let's dance so the warden also said that nah, they like dancing she played a Adivasi song on YouTube and they all started dancing unlike like who Lala or Jinga Lala who they also did that but uh, it was a diff uh, very beautiful song and they all danced. We also joined them and that was a kind of connect that was a moment that uh, made a connection between us and then we went ahead we saw the hostel there were 50 girls and there were four or five rooms which had 26 beds 20, 26 single beds so that means they shared one single bed for two girls and the beds were right next to each other. So there was no space for them to come down. So they all slept on the same, they all slept very close to each other and they do, did not have any space to study and make for recreational spaces. It was nothing like it. So one room, even one room was there for storage of ration as well. So at that moment, it was, kind of a self-realization moment for me that I was reflecting that the kind of hostel that I live in and the kind of hostel that these girls live in, what major difference that both the hostels have. 
and even though I live in a better condition, still I have so much complaints. And even though these girls live in this condition, and they all are very happy to see us, and then very happy, and they all have their aspirations. Then why can't we be happy? And I was also thinking that what if I were one of the 50 girls? Would I be? Would I have been in the same place that I am today? Or my journey would have been decided by the place I was born. So the quest for the answer is still, I'm still searching for the right answer. Thank you.